I wake up in the morning feeling like I can't complete that lyric, but yeah, that's who we're talking today about. P. Diddy. A lot of controversial stuff has come out about him, and I want you to hear my heart. I never make these videos because I hate people or because I just want to bash people into a corner. No, I make these videos to show you what is happening in this world and how this actually aligns with end time Bible prophecy. Because believe it or not, this was actually prophesied at the beginning of this year. People said, many prophets said, that in 2024, it will be a year of great exposing. Meaning that the wicked things that evil people are doing will be revealed. They will come into the open. People will see what's happening from afar off. But also the same way, that there will be an exposing of people who are righteous and are living for God and are doing good things that maybe they've been pushed under a bushel and maybe they've been put in the sidelines. Nobody's known about it. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, they are going to be revealed. And we have seen none other than many celebrities, many movie stars, many people in Hollywood, many politicians having come out being revealed of evil things as well as good things. I'm telling you, if you've ever watched one of my videos for all the way through, you're gonna want to watch this one. Because what just happened with all of P. Diddy's allegations and everything like that, it's unbelievable and it blows my mind that we're even having to make a video like this. But I want you to understand, this is no coincidence. This is end time Bible prophecy. This is what many prophets prophesied. And if you've ever doubted the word of God, if you've ever doubted the Bible, that is totally stopped from today because this is going to change your perspective on life. Please watch this till the end. It's going to blow your mind. All right, guys, so here we are starting off. Now, I, I have this video that I'm going to show about P. Diddy because I could go throughout making the whole video, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I am going to show you the prophecy. Now, I could not find the specific prophecy of, hey, this is going to be the year of unrevealed. I tried to look around, but there's some of these videos that are like two hours long, and I wasn't going to watch the entire thing to find. Just take my word for it. But this is the closest one that I could find. Now, this guy, his name is Joseph Z. He is a prophet. Now, he says things, and many times they have come to pass in our nation and in this world. And watch what he said. This was nine months ago at the beginning of 2024. I promise you I'm not wasting your time. You. This is serious. I would highly encourage you. Get rid of all distractions and listen to this right now. Watch. Some of these dictators are starting to believe that they are gods. But I say unto them, ha, ha, ha. He is prophesying over what's going to happen to the nation. For light will shine in the darkness. Light will shine in the darkness. Watch. Remember, you dwell in Goshen. You dwell in Goshen. Some of this, if you don't understand, there is context because I'm fasting for like There's going to be a surprise turn of the narrative. I see more than one. More than one victorious thing. Okay. And in the surprise narrative, in this turn of the narrative, Watch this. This is crazy. Some will be expected. This will give you goosebumps. Keep watching. And a sign. Some will be very unexpected. Very unexpected. What did we see with Mr. Beast in the beginning of the year? Or, or earlier this year? Very unexpected. Celebrities. Celebrities! This is literally what has happened this year. An icon. It will be a sign of the turn Watch. of the age and the turn of the time. Got my chair stuck. <laughs> It'll be sign of the turning of age, turning of time. Let's check this out. Watch First in the here. natural, then in the spirit. I promise I'll get to the P. Diddy stuff. Just keep watching. Let me talk right to you again. Let me look right at you. 
God is not willing that any would perish, not at all. Right. But I see the Lord standing up, saying, draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Don't skip this. I'm telling you, you, you can feel the presence of God on this if you know anything spiritual. I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. I'm going to open up good treasure to you. I'm going to make a way where there's been no way. Come on. And there shall be a brightness and a radiance on you in this coming year wow. and beyond. Watch, watch. Have faith in God. Have faith, faith in, in God. God. Have, Have faith, faith in, in God. God. Come on. Keep watching. We live by the faith of the Son of God, in the Son of God. And letting not your heart be troubled, you will see evil slay the wicked, and it will not come near you. You will see evil slay the wicked. Now, if you watch this in full context and, and other things that he has done, this is talking about the great revealing that we're going to see this year of many people. For I say unto you, even in this medical tyranny that has come, there will be an outcry and an exposure and a dragging back of the curtain. And you will begin to see and the voices will rise and they will pivot the narrative and begin to sacrifice those who stood for their very agenda. There will be a drawing back of the curtain. I don't know if y'all are hearing what I'm hearing. A drawing back, meaning the things that were hidden will be exposed. Now, this is very frightening if you're not living for God. But if you are living for God, the things that are hidden, meaning the private things you've done for the Lord, nobody's seen, they're going to be drawing back the curtain, and God is going to reveal those things. Here we the go. leading voices will be put out to pasture and sacrificed. For their very agenda. The leading voices. Meaning those who are famous is what I gather from that. And then this right here. This is from a great man of God. He is also another prophet named Ted Shuttlesworth Sr. And he is a prophet. The Lord literally appeared to him when he was a young boy. And he is a prophet by the Bible's terms. And he has dictated. He, he's prophesied things in my life. Seen word of knowledge in my life. And I know I, I didn't tell hardly anybody else about it. He is a man of God and sees things from God. Watch. the lady. But I'm talking Watch. to you. The heaviness is going to go. And the lightness of the glory shall propel you into the greater and the house of the Lord. Think about it. Your body is the house of God. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. This glory will manifest in our praise. This glory is going to manifest as a body, a corporate body, and drive out this foul demon spirit Watch. that's lying to the world and bringing heaviness to the hearts of people. So what is he saying? He's prophesying. You've got, you've got to watch the whole thing in context. But what he is saying is that there's going to be a revealing. The glory of God is going to be in great manifestation in 2024. And what have we seen? We have seen, yes, more revival, more fire of God than we've ever seen before. But check this out. He's saying that when the glory of God gets closer, it actually is a brightness. And that brightness reveals things that are dark. So the things that are hidden in darkness, when the glory of God comes into contact with that, it actually reveals things. And what did he just say? Let me back it up real fast. Praise. Watch this. This glory is going to manifest as a body, a corporate body, then watch. and drive out this drive foul out. demon spirit that's lying to the world. And what have we seen? They have, these lies that people think are undercover, nobody knows. They have been coming out, coming out big time in this world that we live in. Why? Because he's saying the glory of God is going to manifest, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to push out all the darkness that has tried to creep into this world. So I just showed you two, and there are many others that said the exact same thing. Why did they say this? Because the Lord showed them things that are coming to pass in the future. And what have we seen? We've seen earlier this year, 
Mr. Beast. We just seen this with P. Diddy. We've seen this with politics. I mean, I tell you, things have been happening in this world. And you would be, I'll just tell you this, you would be very, very dumb if you looked at all the things that have happened in this world and can't put two and two together that Jesus isn't coming back. Jesus is coming soon. And the Bible says he'll return in a time when we least expect it. In a time where nobody's looking up saying, oh, Jesus is coming back. The Bible says in that last day, there will be many scoffers, meaning that people will look up to heaven and say, where's this Jesus? Where you say this Jesus is coming back? Meaning people will doubt the return of the Lord. But I'm telling you, there are people like me and you watching this video right now that aren't scoffing at the return of Jesus. We know it's very near. We know it's very soon. And we know it's close at the door. And we have to stay ready. Tell people about this. This is why I'm showing you all this. So it gives you an urgency. Hey, with all these things that are happening in the world right now, we know Jesus is coming back very, very soon, and it's not a time to play games, to joke around. It's a time to get serious about the business and the kingdom of God. Can you say amen? This is P. Diddy and what just happened. Now, I don't know all of this. I'm actually watching this video, some of it, for the very first time with you, and we're going to react to this together. Let's check this out. P. Diddy's latest controversy. This is from a uh, 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 person that I know, I, I don't know him too well, but his name is What Do You Meme on his platform. Link, original link down below. I'm sharing this out. Go check out his content. He makes awesome content, you guys. I will be stopping it for copyright issues. Just, just keep watching. What Do You Meme? Great video. Keep up the good work. Link is down below to his original video, and you can check out his channel. For decades, one of the biggest names in music, P. Diddy, has built an empire that gave him access to unimaginable resources, influence, and control. But beyond the lavish lifestyle and public persona, new allegations have surfaced, darker and more sinister than we ever realized. And this isn't just about shocking headlines, it's about justice, accountability, and the much deeper truth of why God's justice is different from the world's, especially when the rich and the powerful seem untouchable. Now, I will tell you this, with anything that I post about, you know I am not against money. I am not against people having a large bank account, people having a lot of fancy things. The thing is, is it, it is true what Jesus said, how it's very hard for a rich man to go to heaven. Why? Not because money is the root of evil, but the Bible tells us the love of money is the root of evil. Many people cannot have money and their heart not be attached to money more than it is attached to God. You need to show God, God, money does not have my heart. God, you have my heart. That's why you've been seeing a lot of this. The rich and the powerful in this world, they've been coming down. Why? Because money exposes who you actually are. When the first allegations were launched against Diddy, they were launched by his former girlfriend, the singer Cassie. She filed a lawsuit against let me, him. Let me just say that. I, I, God is not opposed to you having money. He's opposed to money having you. Accusing him of years of sexual abuse, physical violence, and coercive control. In her lawsuit, Cassie alleged that Diddy subjected her to frequent beatings, drug use, and psychological manipulation throughout their entire relationship. That's terrible. But probably the most shocking claim was that Diddy forced her to engage in violent sexual encounters and even hired male prostitutes to perform acts against her will, which he would film without her consent. She also claimed that he made her take drugs to manipulate her behavior and to maintain control over her. And as these allegations started to gain more and more publicity, Diddy made this post addressing the situation. Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will now fight for my this. name, my family. Look at this. What did I just show you from brother Ted Shuttlesworth with his prophecy? He said the lies will be uncovered. People will lie in this generation to get out of anything. And I'm not saying that you need to look at every Hollywood and anything they tell you, you know, oh, they're lying. You know, people get so conspiracy minded that, you know, anything that the government says, anything the president says, anything that, they're like, oh, that's a lie. That's a lie. Because they think, oh, if they lie about one thing, they lie about everything. I do understand why people think that. 
But understand, I don't want you to look at Hollywood or celebrities or, and think they're complete liars all the time. But there are many of them that the majority of them, they lie. They lie about their lifestyle. They lie about their social media. They lie about all different things. And they just use, like I said, money to cover it up. So this guy, he's coming out. And of course, people say it's it's guilty until, or not guilty until proven guilty. But this guy's coming out saying that these aren't true. These are absolutely false. But then you see him and he said that there's going to be, the lies are going to be uncovered. Let's keep watching this right now. And for the truth. And some people believed him. They believed that Cassie was lying and was just trying to get a paycheck and even spoke out in his defense. However, all of this changed when this horrifying video leaked. I'm not going to show the uncensored video here, but some footage that was taken at a hotel back in 2016 during the time that Dude. Didi and Cassie were dating, it showed him now, abusing her. Now, if you don't see that, I've seen the original video of that, and he's like, it looks like he, he he's demon possessed or just has a, a crazy temper. I, I don't know what's going on here, but he like grabbed this girl. And it, it was bad. It was really bad. Like, I, I was shocked when I saw it. Like, yo. Worst domestic abuses that we've ever seen from a celebrity. And apparently the reason why the video wasn't released sooner is because Diddy paid off the hotel staff to not go public with it. But what did I tell you? He paid off the staff to not go public with it. Money, the love of money is the root of all evil. When you have large amounts of money, either you do good with it or you do evil with it. Either you use it to expand God's kingdom and use it to preach Jesus, or you use it for wicked things. Hey, I'm going to sleep with this lady, pay her off to never tell a soul about it. Hey, I'm going to pay off these maids because they saw everything that happened, but if I slip them this amount of cash, maybe they will keep their mouth shut. Money is either used for good or evil. There's no in between. But all these years later, as Jesus even says, everything that's hidden will eventually be brought to light. So after this footage was leaked, everyone knew that Diddy was lying. And because it became impossible for him to deny the allegations, he took the social media to make an apology video, but it was still too late. The he was caught in his lies, just like we saw that prophecy earlier. The damage had already been done. He lost the trust of the public, and those that once defended him were forced to retract their statements. Okay, now fast forward to today, and now, as the details of his recent arrest has been released, it's becoming clear that this was just the beginning of something much larger and far more disturbing. This right here is the indictment, which I'll link down in the description if you want to read it, but it's 14 pages long, and the very first words on this indictment says, for decades. Decades. Decades is how far back this goes. And wow. then it goes on to give us insight as to why on September 17th. Understand this, that you may think that your sin is not going to, if, if you keep on living in that lifestyle of sin, past things will come out. Past things will always come out if you continue living that life of sin. Now, maybe you're thinking, Katie, I'm scared because there are things that, hey, if you give it to God and you say never again and you actually follow by that principle, I'm talking about true repentance, meaning a U-turn. You turn away from that sin. You say, I'm not going back. Then God sees that and he'll actually hide those sins. That's why you've been seeing, hey, a lot of these things from 20, 30, 40 years ago have been coming out. Why? It's because I believe they never truly changed their lifestyle. Diddy was arrested on charges that left the world shocked. So right here it says how he abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, Dang. protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. It That's also says how- terrible. Listen, sex is not a bad thing when it is in the confines and boundaries of what God made it to be. But that's the thing. Two things that I've seen people get off with the most is A, money, and two, sexual. Sexual things. Desire for lust. They, they want to have sex. They can't, they can't keep themselves in control. That's why the Bible says we need self-control. And then money. They get a little money, money and they desire, they long for it. So what do they do? They go to any extent to get it. It's, it's a very, very evil thing very evil thing those two things the love of money and the desire for sex lust two very evil things it's not bad just like i said the love of god is not opposed to you having money just keep your motives right keep your heart right and god is not opposed to you having sex if it is with your wife not your girlfriend 
Not your your ex girlfriend. Not your, your 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 this person, this person, another person's wife. God is opposed to that. Why? Because he did it so he could protect you. And it seems like this guy right here, he didn't confine by that. Now I'll tell you this. As bad as this may seem, if he came back to God today, God on his knees and say, God, I'm sorry for my sins. God is so good, he would forgive him. And, and the thing is, God would absolutely wipe his record clean in heaven. Meaning the blood of Jesus would totally redeem him. But he's got to come to that realization. And some of you, you may say, how could he do this? How could he do that? I want you to check your own life and see, is there any way in my life that I've been doing things like this? He created a criminal enterprise responsible for sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, obstruction of justice, and as it says right here, among other crimes. And the most damning of his charges so far is racketeering conspiracy, transportation to engage in prostitution, and sex trafficking by force, fraud, or corrosion. And these charges are especially disturbing because a lot of the alleged abuse echoes the same patterns of control and exploitation that Cassie previously accused Diddy of. In both cases, he allegedly manipulated women into participating in what he called freak-offs, which were highly orchestrated sexual performances with prostitutes and drug use. And the victims claimed to be coerced through emotional, physical, and verbal abuse, and a lot of them claim that they felt like they had no choice but to obey due to threat or financial career-related repercussions. Dude, that that is absolutely so wrong. And that's where these racketeering charges come in. Now, if you don't know what racketeering is, this charge was initially created to be able to charge the mafia with organized crime, and the charge has more than a 90% conviction rate. So the feds don't press this charge unless they believe that they have extremely compelling evidence. And in Diddy's case, the government's claiming that he used his business empire as a front to facilitate a range of organized crimes, including sex trafficking, forced labor, and even kidnapping. And by We've even seen a lot of sex trafficking stuff get get exposed this year even with the what what was that sound of freedom movie a lot of things like that and there were people believe it or not that didn't want that movie sound of freedom which i would highly recommend by the way they didn't want that movie to go out because they knew they would get exposed if it went out they knew that the, the eyes of the american people and all around the world would be open if they watched that movie it's crazy sin never leads to a happy place or a pretty place it always leads to one place and that's what the bible says destruction by the way when it comes to some of the physical evidence that they were able to acquire when they raided his house they not only found large amounts of drugs but also over now this is absolutely crazy and wild i consider not even putting it on this channel just because it, it's it's crazy when you think about this. Like, this shows you it was not just a, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. P. Diddy, he made a mistake. No, 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 no. This went deeper. For 1,000 bottles of baby oil that he apparently used during his freak-offs. You tell me, if it wasn't for these freak-offs, what else could he possibly be using all of that baby oil for? So yeah, these new revelations are casting an even darker shadow over Diddy's public persona, pointing to a very long history of abuse and exploitation. And that's what makes all of this such a big deal. According to the unsealed indictment, these crimes go all the way back to at least 2009, and for all of those years, it seemed like justice was always out of reach for those who wanted it. Over and over, these apparent victims, and apparently even Diddy himself, believed that he was simply too powerful to be held accountable. Listen. And th that's a great video, by the way, man. What do you mean? Great job. Great video. Please go check out his channel for more of his content. But I'll tell you this. You're never too powerful to outrun sin. You're never too powerful to outrun sin. The Bible says, be sure your sin will find you out. If you do not get rid of sin, sin will get rid of you. Understand that. And I'll tell you this right now. People who think that they're too high up, they have too much power. They have too much liberty, too much freedom. They will always be exposed. You know, I'll tell you this. Maybe you're watching this and, and, and you lived for God when you were in high school. But now you think because you moved out of your mom and dad's house, you can do whatever you want. You're a little above that now. You're in college now. You can go live however you want. Do whatever you want. Understand this. Your sin will always find you out. It may not find you out today. It may not find you out next week. It may not find you out next year. But it will find you out and it will always come back to bite you. That's why you've got to get rid of it right now. And I'll tell you this. Let, let me show you this real fast. This is a Bible scripture that proves this is showing 
Jesus is coming back soon. 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 through 5. Just listen. But understand this. In the last days, there will become difficulties, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unplease, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control. What have we seen here? So many of these things have been going on. This, this is why I'm making these videos, to show you the Bible's not just a, a, uh, 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 a slam, a, a fake book. It's not a fake book. It's not a fairy tale. This is real stuff that's actually happening. And some people, they need proof like this to actually know if, if, if this is real. I'm showing you the proof right now. Brutal, not loving God, treacherous, reckless, swollen, without conceit. Swollen with conceit, sorry. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having an appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people. But understand this, what it say? In the last days. What are we in right now? We are in the last days. We are in the end times. And it says people will be lovers of their self. Lovers of money. So the Bible literally shows you right there that in the last days, things would happen to these people who identify as that. Lovers of money. Or sorry, not identify as that. Just are that way. Lovers of money. Lovers of self. What? things and then wanted to disobey God heartless you see that that this is showing us what's going to happen in the future what's happened this year and as you can see these two prophecies that we see, saw uh, with Joseph Z and with Ted Shuttlesworth I mean you you can say that you know you believe in coincidences and stuff like that but how? how? How can you believe in coincidence when there's literal proof in front of your eyes? Do I need to tell you more stuff that's happening? I'm telling you. And, and listen, listen. If P. Diddy's watching this right now, because, listen, you, you sometimes get to the end of your rope, and, and there are celebrities, believe it or not, who they go on YouTube and they search for the truth. And you may think, oh, you know, low down people, they get on YouTube and search for Christian content. No, no, no. Celebrities do it too. P. Diddy, if you're watching this too, you're searching for the truth, man. You've had a bad run. You've had exposing. Let me tell you, you're not too far from God's grace. You're not too far from God's hand. You are one prayer away, P. Diddy, from God's hand reaching down. The nailed, scarred hand of Jesus reaching down. Picking you up out of any pit you may be in, man. And God can save your life. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 13. That all who call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. You're one prayer away from Jesus Christ. Saving your life. Redeeming you from your sin. And being your Lord and Savior. Now right now, if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Because maybe you say, Caden, I'm not as crazy as P. Diddy is in these videos. But... I've, I've had my run of the mill. Like, I, I'm not doing things that I know I, I should do. I, I'm living a lifestyle secretive, and I, I want to get rid of this sin because I don't want this sin to get rid of me. If that sounds like you, or maybe you're watching this and you're a celebrity, and you're like, hey, I, I need to give my life to Christ. A video is going to appear upon your screen right now. Please click it because your eternity could determine upon you watching this video right now and praying that prayer of salvation with me in that video or you going and watching some other pointless video. Watch the video right now. I can guarantee you, it will change your life. I love you so much, guys. Remember, I love you, Jesus loves you, and Jesus is Lord. Until next time.